we're going into focus season for Q2 and it was during that time too that relationship kind of fell off. I don't care. I need to stop caring. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> the gym i know in the montage you just watched i wasn't wearing this workout set that's because that montage is from my workout session on monday and today is wednesday i had every intention on vlogging the rest of the day on monday but i came home took a shower got dressed for the day and i just started working and i was working non-stop up until last night i was just sitting at a computer all day doing work so i didn't feel the need to really share any of that but we're here on a wednesday and y'all wait a minute not my workout clothes being too loose on me wait a minute <laughs> but seriously i put on this set this morning because i realized that i go for the same workout sets every single time i go to workout i have a drawer full of different workout sets and i always go for the same ones every time every week when i do my laundry I see the same sets over and over so i decided this morning i was like okay let's pick something that we don't wear often and i put this on and it was so loose on me i had to put on a shirt over it but i need to audit that drawer and get rid of things and add new things because i feel like i need to update and upgrade my workout attire you know because we're going into discipline season and we'll talk about that a little bit more and i just need to feel my best in that season okay that needs to be a task that i do sometimes this week maybe friday i have a lot of things planned for friday as far as resetting this entire week will really be just me resetting my life because as you guys know this week is the last week of march and also the last week of quarter one and i feel like i gave myself quarter one as a time for me to reset relax and you know create routines and get my life in order but not being too strict but going into quarter two baby it is grind season i i don't want to use the word grind i feel like when i use the terminology grind season it doesn't give space for mental health taking care of myself and things like that so i don't want to use the terminology grind season i want to say focus season that's what i'm gonna use focus season we're going into focus season for q2 for me to thrive at my best self at my highest i need routines i need discipline and i feel like i've been lacking in a discipline arena for a while now and i just need to get back to it so i am going very strict in the month of april i do have to reassess how i train myself to be disciplined because in the past when i'm very disciplined with my career my routines my health i end up lacking in other areas that are important to me like showing up for my family showing up for my friends showing up for my partner when i think back to a season of my life when i was extremely disciplined and focused was when i was in an eight year long relationship and it was during that time too that relationship kind of fell off because one we were long distance and two i was so focused on myself and my goals and my career and everything i was doing i wasn't really you know in the relationship 100 percent. so the fact that we were long distance and i was kind of not you know putting my best foot forward it messed up the relationship and now it's been what two years since we've broken up and now i'm in a new relationship so i have to really sit down pray about it journal about it and reassess what it looks like to go back into that focus season without losing the people in my life that i love the most if that makes any sense to y'all so the rest of this week will just be me planning cleaning and just getting myself ready 
for that focus season that I'm about to go into starting on Monday because Monday is April 1st. I love that. I love the fact that April 1st falls on a Monday. It just gives me a fresh start. It just gives me that opportunity to start fresh, to start clean. I am a huge believer that a healthy mind starts with a clean and a healthy environment. So deep cleaning, cluttering, wiping everything down is how I like to start off when I want a fresh start. So Friday, I'm going to run some errands, go to Target, get some cleaning products, go to Trader Joe's, go to Publix, do my groceries and really declutter, clean, wash everything. I have routines for every part of my life. I have a routine for how I clean on a weekly basis, how I clean on a monthly basis, and how I clean on a quarterly basis. For example, I wash my duvet cover in my sheets weekly, but my duvet insert, like the actual comforter that goes in the duvet cover, I only wash it once a quarter. Last night I spent hours creating a budget sheet in Notion. One of my biggest goals for 2024 is doing a better job at managing my finances so i feel like i'm finally in a place in my life in my career where i'm financially stable and that means that i am able to pay my bills on a month-to-month -month basis but i low-key feel like i'm living paycheck to paycheck and that's because the disposable income that i do have is going towards paying off debt and so my goal is to pay off my debt this year like i really want to clear off all of my debt this year so that my disposable income can go towards investment savings and just doing things that i really want to do but right now i feel like i'm at a place where i'm kind of stuck like i'm not able to save as much as i want to save i'm not able to make investments because all of the disposable income i do have is going towards paying off credit card debt from you know decisions that i made in college decisions that i made you know in life you know we all have made some financial mistakes that we are paying for but as long as you know we work towards fixing those issues that's all that matters i'm in the season of being extremely frugal like i need to be extremely extremely frugal to really pay off this debt and feel financially free again that's the goal financially free this year that's one of my biggest goals and I also want to upgrade my car like I've had my car for 10 years it was it's my baby I love her my dad bought it for me I never had to pay a dime off of it thank god so grateful but I want to upgrade her this year she's 10 years old it's about to be 10 years old in May since I graduated high school and I got in my senior year yeah so I need to I want to upgrade my baby I want to upgrade her to my dream car which is a Jeep Wrangler it's one of my goals. I, I might not do that this year. So I'm about to shower, eat some breakfast, and just get my day started. And I'm really hoping that I can document this journey and take you guys along with me. Because I can be a little hard on myself. When things are not aesthetically pleasing or cinematic, I tend to be like, mm, don't want to post it. But I want to share the non-cinematic part of my life. You know, the non-aesthetic parts of my life. The, the real, real, the... How it is okay I don't care I need to stop caring okay so yeah this vlog might not be you know my usual cinematic vibes but it's authentic and that's all that matters happy Friday you know when you have a ton of things to do and you don't know where to start that's literally how I'm feeling right now like I know I need to clean this entire house like I want to clean this house down I want to clean the fridge out I want to clean my bathroom, my room, just like do a really deep clean. But I also have a few little work tasks to get done um, that are kind of due today. So I have to get them done today. And I kind of want to get it all done in one day. So I don't know where to start. <laughs> That's the issue. <laughs> so I'm going to start by making myself a cup of coffee because... I am this close to getting cranky. If I don't have my coffee within a few hours of waking up, I will become cranky, moody, and nobody wants to be around that. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee, maybe a little bit of breakfast just to have some food in my body, drink some water, and then figure out what I'm gonna do. You know what I just realized? 
I'm getting ready to eat my chicken spaghetti. And before you judge me, I'm Haitian and eating spaghetti for breakfast is a Haitian thing. Honestly, in the Haitian culture, we start our days with heavy meals and end it with lighter meals like a porridge, things like that. So it's a culture thing before you judge me. But today's Good Friday. And on Good Friday, we're not supposed to eat any sort of meat. We're only supposed to eat fish and seafood. And I'm getting ready to have chicken. This is what happens when you live away from home and you forget all types of traditions and culture norms. I'm not about to let this food go to waste and make seafood. It's not happening. And it's also a Haitian thing to put ketchup on our spaghetti. As well as some scotch bonnet sauce. It's just so good. It's so good. You gotta try it. Just finished decluttering the clothing drawers. This is everything I took out. This is everything from workout clothes, loungewear, nightgowns, swimsuits, hoodies, jackets, and things like that. These are the things that I'm getting rid of, going to drop them off at the donation center, probably Goodwill or Salvation Army, whichever one is closest to me. Uh, but I try to do this quarterly just because this room is small. I don't have space to be hoarding clothes I'm not wearing. I'm not decluttering my closet this month just because I did a major declutter at the beginning of the year and I think I'm really happy with everything in my closet right now. We'll see. Maybe next quarter I'll do a declutter. But right now I feel like everything in my closet are things that I want to keep. I have all of my basic. I have a nice capsule collection going on right now and I don't feel the need to declutter anything. So I'm going to keep my closet as is. I'll probably just tidy up in there. I like my closet to be color coordinated. So I'll just go in there and tidy up and see if things are out of order. But I'm not going to remove anything. So stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. about to be three ish i was definitely expecting to be further in the cleaning process by now so i had to stop for a bit to go pick up my clothes from the tailor because i realized today is a holiday so he might be closed a little bit earlier than normal and he might be closed all day tomorrow and sunday well the shop is closed on sundays but that is a big behind lizard anyways yeah so i'm gonna go pick that up then go to the ups store to go pick up my package I'll get that one in the baby bag. Okay, that's really nice.
is 12 19. I've been on my feet cleaning since 11 a.m. It is 12 19 now way past midnight and I'm so tired y'all I'm so tired I'm so delirious I'm about to take the hottest shower ever and then go to sleep because I have to be up early tomorrow so good morning bro <laughs> It's 8 a.m. I'm about to get some coffee because I'm about to go grocery shopping and I need the energy. So let's go. So my local Starbucks have what they call their drink of the week, which is basically non-menu items created by the baristas at the location. So the barista that checked me out this morning had me try his. It's basically a grande ice matcha latte with a single shot of espresso, two chai, two vanilla, and cookie crumble. And usually I wouldn't go for too many sweets like the cookie crumble, the vanilla, because I try to limit my sugar but this is really good it's not overly sweet it has a little crunch to it um, the matcha helped balance out all of the sweetness because you know matcha is a little bit on the tart side I didn't think I would like it and also it doesn't look appealing because I don't know it just doesn't um, but it's really good it's really good actually so I'm a little surprised it's really good we're at Trader Joe's about to go inside so let me get myself red tea She cute, she cute. Let's go. I don't know who needs to hear this, but girl, Get up early and go do your groceries, please. And be the first one in that store. Even though I was at the first one in the store, I think they opened at like 8 a.m. And I got in there at like maybe 8.30. But being in the store without a crowd, being able to park on the side and not have to go to the garage, like this is Midtown. It's always crazy. It's always crowded. There's always so many people around. But being here, being able to park with so much ease, going in there, everything is fresh, everything is laid out. Like this is a top tier feeling. And this might become my new norm. Cleaning on a Friday night, groceries by Saturday early morning. And then I have the rest of the day, the rest of Saturday and all of Sunday to relax and truly have a weekend off. Top tier feeling. So at the beginning of the vlog, I told you guys that I was going to be in my frugal bag and I was going to be very mindful of how I spend my money and just keep track of everything. So earlier this week i made a budget sheet on my notion dashboard i wrote every single thing down down to how much i'm going to spend on grocery i need to renew my passport i wrote that down every single expense i plan on making this month i jotted it down so that i have a clear idea of where my money is going so i budgeted 600 dollars for groceries now that is a lot of money for someone who's feeding just herself and i barely eat that much i probably eat two good meals in a day six hundred dollars is a lot i never actually end up using that much in groceries but i like to inflate my numbers even though i know i might not use the entire six hundred dollars on groceries for the month if i'm under it it gives me a level of satisfaction than if i were to go over it so i like to inflate my numbers a little bit with the six hundred dollars the idea is that i'm spending two hundred dollars on groceries per week so let's see how we did today i spent 77 Seven dollars and two cents at Trader Joe's and I got all of my meats all of my seafood and majority of my dry goods so now I'm about to go to Publix to get all of my produce and two to three additional dry goods that I couldn't find at Trader Joe's so let's go let's see how much we spent at Publix
guys that I spent $77 at Trader Joe's. Well, at Publix, I spent $94.43. Is it? Yeah, $94.43. So the original grocery budget was $200, but I subtracted $20 from that budget because I bought the flowers and they came up to $20. And my, fla my flower budget is included in my grocery budget. So that left me with $180. And with the $77, I believe, let's just round it up to $78. $78 I spent at Trader Joe's, $94. And let's round that up to $95. So $78 plus $95. Whoa. Whoa. $78 plus $95. 173 we got seven dollars left y'all we for the ball Publix is expensive even though they have good deals on certain things but it is expensive I bought all of my meats and dry goods from Trader Joe's and only spent 77 dollars most of the things I got from Publix are produce items and it all came up to 94 dollars that's because Publix to me out of all the grocery stores Publix and Whole Foods have the best produce in my opinion like my produce will last whenever i get produce from trader joe's it goes bad within a week i can have my apples sitting here for like two weeks straight and they'll still be in good condition i'm not gonna give you guys like a full full haul i feel like that'll just be too long and too much so i'll just kind of show you guys as i unpack them basically bell peppers ginger for my ginger shot i got some veggies Cucumber for my salad, lemons for my ginger shot, red onion, sweet onion, lime, watermelon, blueberries, strawberries, oat milk. This one is expensive, it's like seven dollars some evaporated milk because I want to make some porridge this week so I got two cans of that tomato paste what else salad pineapples some brown sugar oranges tomatoes some tin greens, some green apples. That's all of the things that I got from Publix, and that all came up to ninety-four freaking dollars. Actually, I forgot to add the bubbly. The bubbly was buy one get one free. Yeah, I got the lemon lime flavor. Is it lime? Y'all, we gotta do better. And by we, I mean me. I am throwing away a fresh, unopened pack of salad because, of course, it went bad because I didn't eat it. Just to bring in a new one. Let's do better and actually eat our salad this week, okay? We're gonna do better this week. We're actually gonna eat our salad, okay? Because this is a waste of money.
okay together. He's living in a dream. He doesn't seem to stray far from today. There is nothing to have seen as we live today in so many ways. Now there are men who take a different route, put on a tie and suit each day. But he don't care about their ways, he simply wants to blaze the day away. He's smoking in his pipe, he doesn't call his man or make up.